In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create somewhat of a cinematic title which I'm calling Victory Titles. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, I don't know what to call this tutorial. We have some of these, you know, nice victory leaves falling down here. And we have some fog and our text. And the reason why I created this tutorial because I was watching Honest Trailers and they had a very similar, you know, title screen for the movie Gladiator uh, when they were doing that movie. So, this is the reason why I created this and I just called it victory titles. I don't know why. So let me know in the comment section down below what I should call this tutorial. I might rename the title on YouTube a little bit later if you guys come up with some great ideas. Uh, but let's go and just get started with this. So I already have a comp in here. I already have three elements in here. So I already have a white solid background. I have my text and I already have a leaf. And I found this leaf on Google. You can always Google search or you can always just download these project files in the description. And for this leaf, I kind of just masked out the uh, background. So if I go here into the leaf masked comp, as you can see, you know, I just went to the pen tool and just masked around it. And of course you can probably find transparent leaves, but uh, you know, I just went ahead and masked it out because I thought it was easy. But anyway, once you have your basic elements in here, we can take this leaf and we can turn it into particles and make it kind of rain that sort of red leaf victory. I don't know. So let's go up to layer new solid and let's call this one particles and we'll click OK and let's go up to effect simulation and we'll add the CC particle world effect. OK, so we have a lot of tweaking to do. I'm going to turn off the red leaf here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to the particle and I want to set the particle type to a textured quad polygon and I'm gonna go to the texture and I'm gonna set the texture layer to my uh, leaf layer or whatever layer you might doing and as you see we see some leaves in there let's move this particle layer just forward in time by a few seconds and um, just by a lot there and then of course we can always stretch out the back end of this layer and there we have some of our leaves but we need to start tweaking some of these settings because it's just kind of like you know a big leaf mess right there so let's you know maybe crank up the longevity to 14 first off and then let's go into the birth size and the depth size here. I'm going to set this to like the birth size to like 2.6 and things are going to get kind of, well, yeah, there, there they are kind of big. And then we'll go to the depth size and maybe set to 1.5. And then I'm going to set the, uh, you know, maybe increase the size variation by a little bit. And I'm going to set the max opacity to 100%. And then maybe we'll go to the opacity map and I'll kind of just come here and even it all out at the top. So we don't have, so it's basically all going to be opaque. That's looking pretty good. Let's go right into say the producer and let's increase the radius Y, you know, to maybe like one or so. And then let's also increase the radius X to go all the way across. And let's go to the position Y and raise this up to like negative 1.5. And that's basically where the emitter is at. We just move the emitter up. So it looks like now the particles are just falling down and you know, that's pretty interesting, but now we got to play with the physics and we'll go right into the physics and we can set the velocity down to zero. And let's set the gravity uh, down to 0 0.01. And this way, you know, we'll just have these leaves in here. And as you see, it's nice and, you know, slow and whatnot. And of course, one thing we need to do is turn down the birth rate. Maybe we'll do like 0.1, which is the minimum amount. And there we have our leaves. And what we need to do, since we don't have any leaves at the beginning here, just continue to move this layer over until like, you know, the leaves are kind of already on here. So like maybe like right here would be good and then we can just move the layer out to the end of the comp so this way boom we have endless leaves here and it's falling you know they're kind of rotating a little bit they're falling nice and slow you know you just won the war you should be proud of yourself <laughs> so we we're done with this you can tweak some more settings if you have some time but you know that's what i found that worked for me i liked it and then what we're going to do is maybe just come here and we'll go make sure the particle layer is selected and go up to edit duplicate Okay, and then I want to create some background, you know, particle leaves and make sure we'll put this layer, the new duplicate layer underneath our original particle layer. So let's go right into the particle and let's set the depth size to 0.2 and the depth size to 0.1. And we go to the size variation, set that up to 100%. And then maybe we'll set the longevity down to 10. And then we'll go back up to the producer and maybe we can just decrease the position Y back to like negative you know, 0.3-ish. So then we have, you know, a lot more, you know, particles or leaf particles in there. And they'll set the birth rate back up to one. And now we have a ton of, you know, background leaves in here. And, you know, that looks pretty cool. Maybe we can set the gravity 
goes into the physics tab, set the gravity to 0 0.02, so they fall down just a little bit faster. And you know, now we have those nice background particles. Maybe we can put it beneath our victory title. And then let's uh, make sure that the uh, particles are selected and go to effect blur, and we'll add the Gaussian blur effect. And maybe we'll increase that to like 10. And probably another thing you want to do, since these leaves might be too sharp, is make sure that the uh, you know the big leaf particle layer selected and go to effect blur, and we'll add the Gaussian blur again. And maybe this time we'll set it to like six. And that's why it'll just blend in a little bit nicer and we have a little bit more focus on the actual text of what we're doing. So we have a few more elements to create. We have to create some actual you know, fog in here and I also wanna blend another background in here. So I'm gonna grab, let's say, you know, maybe this Colosseum background and I'm just gonna drop it right above the white solid. And I'm gonna drop the opacity of this down to 20%. And then we can kind of blend this in there. We'll go to effect, color correction, maybe tritone. You know, you can always mess with the warmer colors if you want it to be just grayed out or, you know, you kind of want a warmer feel. You can kind of mess with that. Um, and, of course, you know, I have, you know, maybe another background, and I can just drop this right in here. You can always mess with, you know, kind of what background you want to have. So just keep that in mind. Just set the opacity down, and it'll kind of blend in nice with your white background, depending on what you're trying to do. So now we're going to create some fog. Let's create a new solid, and we'll call it fog. And, okay. And we'll go to effect noise and fractal noise. Let's set the fractal type to dynamic progressive. And then let's increase the contrast maybe to like 230 ish. And maybe we can decrease the brightness by a little bit. And let's go right into the transform tab here. And let's just scale this all the way up to like maybe, you know, 600 points or so. And that's pretty cool. And then let's go to the evolution, which is right here. Let's Alt click the stopwatch and let's type in time, uh, you know, I think asterisk 100. And I'll zoom in here so you guys can get a better look at that. So it's times uh, asterisk 100. And just click off that and we'll kind of have that, you know, evolution animating a little bit there. Okay, and then let's go to the beginning of our animation here and let's add a keyframe for the offset turbulence. And let's go to the end of our animation. You know, I'll just say six seconds here. And we can just kind of animate this to the left. So now we'll have a little bit of evolution and animation, and that's pretty cool. So we can close this tab up. We can toggle switches and modes, and let's go to the mode and let's set this to add. And that will kind of blend in there, but it's a little bit intense. So maybe we'll go straight to the, um, you know, hit T on our keyboard to bring up opacity and set this down to like 20%. So now we kind of have a nice little bit of that, you know, blur, and we kind of have that nice, you know, fog in there. It's very subtle, and, you know, you just won the battle. So, you know, there's a lot of smoke and... You know, whatever. So, <laughs> and then with the fog select, to go up to effect, color correction, color correction, curves. And we can kind of just, you know, help blend this a little bit better. Maybe we can bring down the brightness a little bit, kind of curve that up. And then maybe just drag this down a little bit. Then this will kind of help blend it in a little bit. You might have to do that depending on what images you're working with. And, you know, so far this looks really good. And to put the final touches on this, let's go up to layer, new, null object. And let's toggle switches and modes again. Actually, we didn't need to do that. Just select everything and parent it to the null object. And hit S on your keyboard for scale. Add a keyframe for scale. Go to the end of your animation. And let's set this down to like 105. So now we'll ha kind of have like that nice, you know, smooth uh, dolly in effect. And if you want to animate your titles like I did, all I did was use a preset because I've said this mil a million times in the past. Because I use presets because I'm lazy. So go to the animation presets over here. Go to the text. Go to blurs. And I use the evaporate preset. And if we hit U on our keyboard with the layer selected, uh, we'll bring up the keyframes here and select both of the keyframes. Right click it. Go to keyframe assistance. Time reverse keyframes. And let's bring this last keyframe in just by a touch. Maybe hit F9 on your keyboard to make it an easy as keyframe. And now kind of have that nice, you know, evaporation because, you know, all the enemies that you killed during combat, you know, their ghosts are forming into text and, you know, whatever. So make sure motion blur is enabled for pretty much all your layers. Now, do keep in mind, though, for your main particles, you might not want the motion blur on just because it might be too blurry. So I kind of kept it off just for the main leaf particles. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And I just realized that you could probably use this for Valentine's Day to impress your significant other with these red leaves. 
but you know that's all on you so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the description of this video and as always thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you have a good day